Right off the top at 6, the Supreme Court hearing the first arguments in the case against President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness plan today. A plan that was set to forgive up to $20,000 of student loan student loans starting last fall has been challenged on the legality of the president's power to do so. While this was just the first day in front of the high court and a decision is months away, the debate over this plan will continue well past the court's ruling. Nine and Ten's Eric Lloyd has more with tonight's top story. All this means people can start, uh, finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt. It's a platform President Biden ran on and a promise he felt he kept last fall when the official plan to forgive thousands of dollars of student loan debt was unveiled. Now it's out of his hands and up to the Supreme Court to decide. And unfortunately, that's political pandering that is not encouraging people to have more responsibility and is doing nothing but driving the cost of tuition straight up. The court isn't deciding on the morality or fiscal responsibility of the plan or the details of how much relief goes to whom, just if the president has the power to do so or not. What we want to remind American people more broadly is how this program is going to give tens of millions of Americans across the country a little bit of a breathing room. That breathing room is being labeled forgiveness or cancellation. Opponents to the plan have a different term for it. What really this is is a burden shift from the borrowers unto other taxpayers who didn't agree to pay for these loans. Student loans seem like a necessary evil. College is expensive and society pushes students towards campuses, but Ferris State economics professor Alex Cartwright says the prevalence of loans actually worsens the issue. Both on the university side and the student side, nobody has any incentive to keep the costs down when you're not responsible for bearing that cost. Loans allow students to avoid the weight of the cost, so there is little issue with schools raising the price. Cartwright says the only way to beat the system is to be smart and efficient as a student. If you don't have to pay for your student loans, does that encourage you to be very mindful of the cost of tuition or mindful about the de the, the, the profitability of the degree, the degree that you're selecting? No matter which way the court rules, the plan is not a long-term permanent cost-cutting measure. It's on students to be smart when choosing the value of their education and what's waiting on the other side. Those are all things that should be more commonplace, and those are things that I hope more people continue to have. And I hope that that would become the norm to more carefully consider the ROI on different degrees. Eric Lloyd, 9 and 10 News.